Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome back once again to the Pokemon Leap Green Randomizer Nuzlocke. Now, if you are new to the series, or if you've missed a few episodes, you should check out the card on the right-hand side of the screen. It's got all of the playlists you'll need. All the playlists, some of the playlists, most of the playlists. It's, it's just a playlist. <coughs> hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome back once again to the Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke. Now, if you are new here, you want to check out the card on the right-hand side of the screen. If you miss some episodes, you want to go there as well, because there is a playlist for the whole series to get you all caught up. If you're if you're not new, you might be wondering, Matt, I thought we were on the Civi Islands, and you were right, we were. I went and checked out the items I had missed, and none of them were even remotely interesting, so I decided to just skip to the end, get back to Kanto, and we're here, ready to get ourselves the power plant, but now that I've got here, I think I skipped this grass because I wanted to come back later and catch something different. What 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 route is this? Ten. I don't remember ever catching anything here. This doesn't say much. Let's check. Give me one second, you guys. Let me just comb through all this. No, I do not appear to have anything that's been caught on Route 10. So I did skip this for whatever reason. I guess I wanted, uh, I guess I, I just wanted to come back later with a super rod or something, I guess. But it's a randomizer. I don't see why, why it would matter. So let's just get it over with, I guess. Hey, hoot hoot. Do I have a knock towel? I feel like I've seen a knock towel somewhere. Maybe not. Whatever. This is not what we're here for anyway, where we were hoping for a Pupitar, which we might get in the power plant, as I recall. That's the real prize here. I, I feel like I have a... I, seriously, I, I need to go check and see if I have a Noctowl now, because it's going to bug me otherwise. Okay, anyway. That was nice and smooth. Who did caught? I should just check there, shouldn't I have? I didn't see it fast. I, I, I don't think we had one. Hoot the owl Pokemon. It always stands on one foot. It changes feet so fast that we can rarely be seen. We're gonna call you... Aloysius, because it's an owly name. Which, I thought for the longest time, this was pronounced Aloysius. But it's apparently Aloysius. I had no idea. Then I turn around and immediately bump into something else. Another Hoot Hoot. I'm trapped in the land of the hoots. Well, I don't give a hoot. Let me go. All right, let's just go make sure real quick and just drop off Hoot I guess, because I don't really see much need to keep one around. No offense to Hoot Hoot, but its base stat totals not so impressive. And in a mixed randomizer like this, that's all that really matters. And do I have a Hoot uh, a Noctowl? I do not think so. No, I don't. Woohoo! Hardy. M Marvel scale and all about defense. You know what? For a for, for a purely tank Pokemon, not a bad idea. But offense is the best defense when it comes to Pokemon, generally speaking. Not always, but in a story mode randomized like this, absolutely. Now let's head on to the power plant and see if we can bag ourselves a Pupitar or a Larvitar or any other kind of tar, really. All right. Cruising on down. That was fast. What could we have gotten, I wonder? Oh. Hi, Julian. We already have you. Just gonna run away. Not impressed. Alright, so... Guess we didn't... Really? Uh-huh. I'm seeing a pattern here. Okay. There's this one trainer guy here who basically doesn't matter. We'll be fighting a Zapdos level thing soon, so let's not take any chances here. Wow, you came all the way here. Maybe you're a Pokemaniac too. Wanna see my collection? You know what, bud? Sure, why not? Hit me. What you got, Mr. Cosplay? Servant Pie? Totodile! Little Whalen buddy. You are so hilariously underleveled, I am sorry. Haven't yet equipped the Dragon Fang onto Nidhogg yet, but we will soon. Next up we have a Graveler. Even better. I got Surf for that. 
Also, if Nidhogg evolves and learns Ice Punch, I will die of happiness. Would make me so happy, you have no idea. Ice Punch is, is, is a great move, and for a specially inclined Dragonite to have it, oh, magical, magical things would happen. I'm not angry, I'm just kind of salty, I guess. All right, into the power plant we go. Oh, this is gonna be tense. <sighs> All right, so I'm thinking that we should probably, I could, hmm. I could put on um, a max repel and walk around and get some of the items first. If we find any static encounters on the floor, if it's a Voltorb, we'll be fine. If it's not a Voltorb, then, you know, could be cool. Really hoping we find a Pupitar in here, but I have no idea where or how or, you know, any of that biz. And I want to catch you or pick you up or whatever it is, because I don't know which of these are items, which of them aren't, is the thing. Love a berry, you know. Because this one's the encounter, then. Nope, Mirror Coat. Huh. Interesting. Wait, so where am I going? Oh, I went, went, went around circles, didn't I? Hang on. I'll figure this out. This place is a bit of a maze. Um, that's gotta be an encounter. Nope. Focus Punch! Cool, but not all that useful, really, because of course, you know, the odds of things not hitting you when you have it powering up is pretty low. I'm curious who can learn it, though. Uh, mirror coat is like counter, but special focus punch can be learned by absolutely no one. Marvelous! That's so helpful, really. Trusting my instincts here to guide me to the right Pokeball. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of freaked. I'm, I'm kind of scared to, like, you know... Because <laughs> I want an encounter here, obviously. I want to catch something. But I don't know if the Pupitar... Like, I have no idea if the Pokemon in these balls show up on Pokedex or not. Because if they don't, then I want to get a wild encounter. You know what I mean? <sighs> Tough call. I don't know. I'm curious what Zapdos is, too. We'll just go to Zapdos for now. We'll conserve our strength, go to Zapdos, see what it is, try to catch it, then come back. There he is there. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. Better get D-Man up front. What is it going to be? That sounded familiar. A Quillfish. A level 50 Quillfish I already have. That's just disappointing. <laughs> Seriously, though, a quillfish! Dang it. <sighs> These legendaries have been thoroughly disappointing so far. Electrode and a quillfish, of all things. Like, like it's, it doesn't even take it off the catch table, we already have it. <sighs> oh well. So much for anything good. I can always drop by the, the the islands, I guess, for the third one, but I think it's becoming very clear that it doesn't have any intention of actually giving me a legendary Pokemon, is the thing. And it's kind of out of the way, so I just may not bother. I mean, I probably will, but... Okay, let's go back through. Grab what we missed. You can hit in this room? No. Well... Like this is all that's here, then. One of these is going to be a Pokemon, one of them is not. We're off. All right, so here we go. That was fast. A Slowpoke. We've already got one of those. Okay, well. Calcium! Hey, special attack up. I know who that's going on. Scroll it on down, get the calcium, and put it on Mr. Nidhogg, if he still can't. Nope, he's got too much. Let's see what to Mythic Red, then he can use the boost. Okay. So, other item is almost certainly an encounter, then. 
What was that? A golem? Huh. Interesting. I mean, you know. It's, I mean, it's, it's fine, I guess. Next question. Actually, do these count as static encounters or not? Man, I have so many questions today. Like, they're on the map. That makes them a static encounter, doesn't it? I, I don't know. Eh, indecisive. I, I mean, I feel like going through this place catching three Pokemon or however many Pokemon are in here. Because there's, there's, there's at least two static encounters in here. Plus Zapdos. I feel like that's too many Pokemon for a Nuzlocke run. You know what I mean? Zapdos and one other should probably be it. want that pupa tar though i gotta say it knows fisher we're higher level so we're gonna be fine hopefully <clears throat> rock slide i mean he seems to have a decent enough attack stat anyway or she does rather how's the defense i wonder it, she resists poison so it shouldn't do that much mm, pretty fine actually could be good. Never had a goal on the team before. Not for a long, long time, actually. We did need a rock ground type, so if its stats are good, this could be quite positive, actually. The Megaton Pokemon. Its boulder-like body is extremely hard. It can easily withstand dynamite blasts without taking damage. If that's true, you probably do get a slot on the team. Let's call her Shale. Not shelf, shale. <laughs> Alright, so I'm still kind of torn on whether or not I should catch anything else in here. I mean, obviously I want to because I want a, a Pupitar pretty badly. Let's see what you got. Naive. Magma armor cannot be frozen. Defenses are solid. 96 special defense, 79 in defense. Uh, special attack is low, speed and attack are tight. You know, that's not, that's pretty solid overall. Ancient Power, Fisher, Bone Club, and Rock Slide. I mean, she's got decent moves. The ability's kind of meh, but move-wise, not bad. What can you learn out of Curiosity? Of course, she is all physical. Not much special um, talent, which is fine. What can you learn? That's actually decent. What we got in here? Um, but I have a whole lot going for me in here that's any good anyway. <laughs> Um. Meh. Honestly, her, her, her moves are, are already at least as good as what we got. Oh, hello. Star you. Well. I'm gonna say no to this catch. I wouldn't mind a star you. I would especially not mind a Larvitar. But I think getting all the catches we could possibly want in here would be just too... Too much against the Spirit of the Nuzlocke. Hey, hit on top. That's cool. That's a cool Pokemon. It's uh, Jarnay's cousin, Jump Kicker. But yeah, we're gonna... Can I just go now, please? Seriously? Let me kill you, aren't you? Alright, fine. You must. If I must, if someone must. A very tanky Pokemon, the looks of it. Okay, all done there. New dog back up front. I might have missed some other um, items back the other way, so let me go have a look, see you guys. Oh, yeah, we uh, we uh, missed this one, which is. Given I haven't found any, any, any of the Pokeballs, if, if there is any other static encounters in here, it's probably this one. I, I, I almost don't want to know what it is, because... Uh, it's going to hurt so bad, isn't it? I mean, we can't catch it, so I'm going to just leave Nidog up front, I guess. I know that noise. Oh! That's not funny, game! Okay. I see how it is. The Blaziken's taunting me now. 
Granted, we've already got a fire type, and we're pretty happy with Mythic Red, yada, 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 but still. If this thing had any kind of a decent fighting move, I would be all over that. It's got speed boost, too. Of course it does. I hate you so much at this moment. Oh, that's irritating. Yeah, I, th I, th I think, I think may maybe I'm done legendary hunting for the time being, just because the disappointment's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Hurts me right down deep in my soul. I had to kill a blaze again. I had to kill a thing of beauty. Damn you, Shale. You're not worth it. <laughs> Maybe she is. I don't know. Uh, let's go. I'm getting out of here. Mythic Red, you better learn some damn fine moves. I'll tell you that much. Make me not regret having you. All right. We're going to fly. I guess we may as well get, get the island done, too. All right, guys. I'll see you. Uh, just to save on time, rather than go through the whole uh, Seafoam Island, we're, we're just going to skip right to uh, Articuno. So I'll see you guys there in a moment. Uh, I need to fly to one of these two. And I'll figure it out. See you guys in a sec. All right. We blocked off the crazy water, making this place unserverable, and we are now at Articuno. Will hopefully be less disappointing than his cousins or brothers or whatever they are to him. Or it. Sorry. <sighs> Yo. Wait. I know that sound too. That's a sea. That's a Seedra. It's a Seedra. Can you at least have been a Kingdra? I would have been fine with a Kingdra. Man, you guys are just nothing but disappointments. That is such a. Mm, at least not a quillfish. Quillfish was the ultimate. Like, oh really? Huh. <sighs> All right. Well, we can throw some sludge on it. Throw it in a Pokeball. It'll be fine, I guess. It's not a bad water type. Wow, it's very tanky, apparently. Um, if it was more... You know, if, if it was a King Draw, we could actually make something out of this, but... If it's stuck as a Sea Draw, then it's limited a little bit. Oh, well. The other best we saw what it was. I do have one more place to drop by for catching, and that's um, Cinnabar Island. Because... We never did catch anything off the side of that island, because there's a, there's a very small amount of space where you can surf, or, or, or where it's still water, you know what I mean? Or sorry, it's still, uh, still within the island's zone, it's not, it, you, haven't, you haven't left yet. I am curious what we might pick up there. There we go, you feel like coming along uh, just yet, or are you still going to be stubborn about this? It does look like we're going to not have very much to catch that's actually going to warrant the Master Ball, that's for sure. I feel like we're going to roll up to Mewtwo in, 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 a, in the post-game and it'll be a Caterpie or something. You know, just, just the, way this, the way this has been going. The game just be like, nah, -uh, dude, you don't get nothing. Seedra, the dragon Pokemon, except not really. It's capable of swimming backwards by rapidly flapping its wing-like pectoral fins and stout tail. Well, la-di-da for you. <sighs> Um, I would call it better than Quillfish if it would fit. Well, why don't we just call it the sound that it makes in, in uh, the anime? Which, conveniently enough, spells something that also enca uh, encapsulates how I feel about it right now. Because in the anime, if you remember, it goes doo doo. So it's doo doo. There you go. I'm not bitter at all. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys back at Cinnabar. This place is. Not that long, but it's still time consuming, so I'll see you guys there. I'll just go ahead and skip it out. Alright, so if I get off this coast of the island right here, it should still be Cinnabar. Like here it's Cinnabar, there it's Route 20, but here it is Cinnabar. So, we surf around Cinnabar. Oh, Repel was on. Whoops. <laughs> it's like, why isn't it causing anything to show up? I wonder why. Did anything actually appear here, or no? That would be one way to do it, I guess. Make sure that nothing can spawn here. Oh, oh there it goes. An Anorith! That's cool! Rock Bug! That's at least different. I like that. I was saying I, I, could, use something that, I could use something that fights uh, Dark Types. So theoretically, that's a good thing. That might actually work out just fine. Apparently it's got a berry, or something. Lumberry. Pin Missile. Well, it's got bug moves. I hope it's got a decent attack stat, because that could be, like, the the, the surprise pick of the whole team if we get, like, a, 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 an Armaldo. An Armaldo. 
Now, I don't think your catch rate's all that impressive. You're level 5, so you should be okay. An Ultra Ball and a Sleep, we should be okay with this. Yeah, there we go. What do I call you now? Well, as this is actually a potential member of the team, we should give it an actual name, as opposed to whatever comes to the top of my head. Anorith, the old Pokemon, is a kind of Pokemon progenitor. It uses ex extending claws to catch prey hiding among rocks on the sea floor. Well, many hours only once a Gengar. We've already got Demand and Jeff. Um, let's see. It's not a wolf or anything like that, so I don't think Alpha would be all up for that either. I mean, if Jekyll wants a name on the team, we can always call it Jeky. I'm not sure if he minds being an armored bug thing. I guess he'll tell me later. <laughs> Jeky, welcome to the team. Potentially, anyway. Let's see what your stats are like. Alright, a fossil Pokemon, though. That's definitely cool. It's, it's, it's so appropriate you can catch one of those off the coast of Cinnabar. Please be decent. I know it's level 5, and that's a lot of work of, of, of grinding to do, but, you know, I, I, I don't mind if it's decent. How does Doo Doo look, anyway? Jolly, which is special attack down. Minus, which is totally useless. It has ridiculous defenses and basically no offense to speak of. Mm. Naive, which I believe is nor uh, neutral. Forecast, which is strange. Decent offense and speed. It's got... Possibilities, I guess. It's a little too early to tell. It looks like speed's gonna be its high. Well, going off of this, speed is gonna be its highest, followed by special attack, then special defense, then attack, then defense, which is not the best spread. But eh, it could just be IVs doing that as well. It's, but I mean, in, in theory, its attack could go up. I guess I'll give him some levels. I'll see how he goes, and I'll get back to you guys next time with him. I guess we'll see how this all shakes out. So he's on probational team access, I guess, or probational team time, or whatever you want to call it. So I guess we'll leave this off for now. You guys have some training to do. I'll see you for the appreci appreciation segment of our video in just a moment. Be sure to check out our Vito's run to see how he's going. And thank you so much. I'll see you in the uh, post episode in a moment. Thank you so much. I just said that. And bye-bye! Hey, guys. Monster Matt here. Sorry to be a little bit quiet. I'm just kind of at the uh, epilogue of the episode. Um, I've been training Jackie. He's level 40. He's not quite done, but I had kind of a thought. I realized that there's another catch I can make before we fight the 8th gym. Because over here on Route 22, which we have done a caught here before, or sorry, catch here before, no, no questions there. Um, not really. It's a swing up. Okay. Anyway, um, we've already caught here that this 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 is this is this is not where where um, we're we're uh, we're going. But um, I realized that past these these uh, doors here, there of course are the guys who want to see your badges before you they'll let you through. Like this guy here. Oh, it's a little boulder badge. Go right ahead. And because we don't have the eighth one, we can't go the whole way in. That's fine. There's water and I think grass as well here. Little little uh, little closer up to it. So, we can get a catch along here before we ever hit Victory Road, and then when we get into the cave itself, we have a second catch. So, I don't think we can go the whole way in, but having the Thunder Badge, or maybe the Rainbow Badge? I know there's water here somewhere. Rainbow Badge. Yeah, there we go. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's see what we get then. And first up, it's going to be... <gasps> a Mudkip! Oh, that would be awesome. If Okay, if this Mudkip has a decent ability, that could be astoundingly good. Hyper Voice. Seven damage. That is not bad. Considering the level gap between them, 22 levels, he did seven damage to D-Man, who is tanky as all get out. That's impressive. I have good... I, I have hopes for this. I'm still just, like, Safari Ball. Really? <laughs> Of course, I've uh, re replenished our Ultra Balls a little bit since since uh, the main episode. Cause, you know, I've, I've been training for a couple hours just to get um, Jeky up. Um, I'm excited about this one, though. Come on. Alright, so since, since, since this is the um, epilogue episode, I'm sorry, epilogue section be uh, before the appreciation segment, I'm going to keep it real quick, you guys. I will um, speed through this for you guys.
All right, there we go. We got ourselves a Mudkip. I have high hopes for this little fella. Mudkip, the mud Pokemon. Its large tail fin propels it through water with powerful acceleration. It is strong in spite of its size. Nickname, all right. Then, um, if it was a, a lady, I would have called it Alpha Wolf because she's our newest uh, monstrous mod, but I do believe we'll go with Game Slayer, who is a member of our monsters in training, but I'm confident that he'll be ready to go uh, to, to, to get uh, promoted before too long. So, Game Slayer, it shall be awesome. All right, you guys, we got ourselves a Mudkip. I'll check to see if it's any good. It's just late right now. I want to get to bed. So if it's any good, you guys will see it all trained up and ready to go for the 8th gym next time. Thanks so much for watching, and stay tuned for the appreciation, appreciation video once again. Thanks, guys. Good night. Hey, guys. Monster Matt here with the appreciation segment of our video. On the last episode in our series, finishing up with the Savi Islands, number 21 in the overall series, we got 10 likes, 46 views, and 31 comments coming from Chaos Retro Gaming 3, R. Vedal, Ready Player Ben, Paragon X9, A. Electric, MDP Games, Landon Summers, Frost Wolf, Marvin Shaker, twice, and Eric for President. Thanks so much for being here, you guys. Leaving a comment, it means a lot to me having a little conversations with you guys. You're awesome. And, uh, and because of the efforts of you and everyone else on our awesome channel and part of our, our uh, community, the channel itself has grown to 614 subscribers. Once again, you guys, we have hit and exceeded the goals I set, and it's just so amazing every time. I'm like, hey guys, you know, since we're doing since we're doing so well, can we maybe hit 600 by the end of the month? And you guys are like, sure, absolutely, <laughs> done. So just, uh, uh, just so, so amazing. Um, uh, a huge thank you to all of my my uh, mods, all of the people in, on on our Discord, just everyone who who supports the channel. You're all so amazing, and I could not do anything without you. I've said it before. I'll say it again, and I will say it more for, from this point forward. It's just it, it's never going to stop because seriously, you guys, you're awesome. Thanks so much. Be sure to check out our Vital to see how he's doing, of course. And I'll see you guys in the next one. For now, a monster mad out, and stay awesome, you guys. I should say, stay monstrous. Bye bye.